y'all this is Kagome and I just wanted to do an update really quick on the high frequency machine that I got recently I did an initial review and it's been about a week so I wanted to update you guys and I wanted to tell you about some things that I have discovered um I'm not even gonna turn this on you saw what it looked like in the first video so I'm not even gonna use it but I want to start out by saying, honestly, I saw a lot of really good reviews for this, but it has done nothing for me. My skin looks exactly the same. It actually got worse at one point. I actually got little brown spots on my face from using the machine uh, incorrectly, I guess. There, there is a wrong way to use this. Um, let me start by saying... After I got the brown spots, I went online and I looked up a lot of different machines and ways to use them. The first thing I want to say is this machine is not for everybody. It's not for people who have pacemakers or any type of metal in their body. It's not for diabetics. It's not for pregnant women, women who are nursing. And it's not for cancer survivors, which is what I am. I'm a cancer survivor. And... I got this not knowing that it was not good for cancer survivors. I don't know why. I don't think it would cause cancer to return. But I can say my skin is a little different from what it used to be. It's a lot more sensitive than what it was before I went through, through chemo and radiation and stuff. So that might be the issue for me. It did not work for me at all. I remember after... I used it for two days and my son came in and asked me what happened to my face because I had like really big red blotches on my face and like my acne had gotten a whole lot worse. So, but I did keep using it, but I really don't um, think this helped get rid of the acne that I had. I went back to using um, the baking soda and uh, using black soap. And I do think that that got rid of my acne. And I also have, I remember saying that I had a bunch of blackheads right here that I was trying to get rid of. This machine did nothing for that. Nothing at all. Not one blackhead disappeared. I put, I used a tip from another YouTube you, YouTuber. I think her name was Kim. Um, I put Elmer's glue on my nose and let it dry. And then when I peeled it off, the blackheads came off with the glue. So that's what helped my blackheads. This machine, okay, I'll tell you. I read that you can use it with moisturizer or you can use it dry. And the whole thing about it is when you go in to um, the office or the salon to get this done, they usually give you a facial first and then they use this at the end of the facial. And when they use it, they cover your face in a face mesh. So it's kind of like, it's like the stuff that you have in the first aid kits, the really thin cotton stuff. And you, um, so they put that on your face and then they use this over it to keep the germs off of it. Because you cannot wash this. You can't put water or alcohol or anything like that on there. You can only, the main thing is like to just keep it clean with like a, a towel or something. You have to keep it dry or it'll break. It won't work anymore. And the whole thing was um, you'll get black, not black spots, but brown spots on your face if you, if it's on your face like this and you're supposed to do it really lightly, but if it's too far away, like if you accidentally skip, if you're moving it on your face and you skip like this by accident, it'll spark harder and leave brown spots on your face. So you have to be like very careful and the mesh it's supposed to protect your face from um, the sparks and getting the brown spots. So if you don't have the mesh, you have to be really, really careful because you'll get brown spots like I did. And as far as the acne goes, I've learned that the mesh helps because this has to be away from your skin like an eighth of an inch or something. So if you put the mesh on your face and then use that, it'll lift the bulb off your skin just enough so that it'll um, actually uh, clean your pores. But if you're just doing it like 
this you don't really know how far away it is like I've been using like a really light touch like this and like move my face instead of moving this I was trying to move my face so that I wouldn't skip around and I know like moisturizer helps it move smoother sometimes but it just felt like it was just too much and I read that when you do the moisturizer it's supposed to be a thicker moisturizer so you have a thick layer on your face and a lot of a lot of them use stuff like petroleum jelly so it's like you use that it's not like no matter how much you rub it it's still going to be like some on your face to use and then you can just wash it off later so like you do that and you know whatever but i also read that there are two ways to even do that part one site said that in their salon they did circular circular motion on the person's face and then another salon said they would start here and go up like follow the lines of your face like this and I can only speak from myself like I still have bags under my eyes it did not take the puffiness away it was supposed to do that it didn't take the puffiness away my face looks exactly the same it felt like I have a little more acne than I had before I started using the thing so I really don't I know people have gotten a lot of reviews and I know it could be because my skin is different but I'm just telling you my experience with this thing it just wasn't good it just like it was a waste of time and money to me and I'll tell you also what I learned too they have been using these these types of machines lately for cellulite to treat cellulite because it actually um, keeps the fat under your skin and then it'll help it melt away so like you put it on your thigh or wherever you got cellulite and then um, the person would massage it after they did the treatment with the high frequency device they massage it and it helps break down the fat it would heat the fat up and then the massage would break it down so it can like go off into your body and then like you can poop it out or whatever so I don't know you might want to look into that because that could be good but I'm sure it'll take a bunch of treatments just like anything but I've been using this a week and a half and I felt like it was long enough to give a review because I kept seeing people saying that they had felt better in a day or whatever but that just was not the case for me I don't know I tried every possible way to do it because I didn't want to do it wrong so I looked up I spent a few hours looking up different ways to do this I have not seen any difference in my skin except it got worse at one point and I've done the little thing where you stick it up on your eyebrow and try to lift but I don't know it might help with muscle toning I don't know my face is not not really baggy or nothing so maybe maybe it'll like maintain it or what but I don't even know if I should keep using it because it did say that it was not suitable for cancer survivors but anyways I wish you guys luck let me see if there's anything I forgot mm. oh there's one thing before you even put this on your face you set the you turn the knob you set it on low and then you're supposed to put your finger here the technician this is what the technician technician does in the salon they put their finger on it and then place it on the face then lift it up and you start at your low setting and then you slowly turn it up you slowly turn it up until it's like you can feel it but it doesn't hurt and then you start to do your process and then like when you're ready to lift it up you put your finger back down so the light helps to interrupt the current and it won't spark before it gets to where it's supposed to be so you know your finger is kind of like the protection so you do that first and then you get it in the spot lift your finger up and then turn up the knob to where you need it to be but I would suggest that you find a, a mesh for your face and even if you can't find like the face meshes then you get like one out of the first aid kit the long meshes and like do it in sections or something like put it on your face and then use this on that section like one section at a time so you know but that's my review on the let me see 
the portable frequency LZ 006A. I paid $33 for it for Amazon. I've used all the things. Oh, and there was one other thing I wanted to say. I don't know if this is true or not, but I know it has the comb attachment, and you can use that on your scalp, and it's supposed to stimulate your follicles so that your hair grow. I was thinking that if it stimulates the follicles in your hair, so it'll grow faster. For people who have, well, women who have issues with facial hair, it might increase your facial hair. I don't know. That was just something I was thinking, or it might make it grow faster. Because I don't see why it would do any different on your scalp than what it would do, like, if you had, like, a little fuzz right here or whatever, or down here that you have to keep removing. I'm just putting it out there. I don't know if y'all seen any differences in that. Because a lot of women do have that issue because of hormones or whatever. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. And if you are having success with this, then by all means, keep going. Don't let me deter you. But I'm just telling you what I've learned from it and my experience. And my face looks exactly the same when I did the first video. I don't have on any foundation right now. All I have is eyeliner and lip gloss on right now. So this is my face. I'm 30 years old. And I got my acne to go away through exfoliation with um, baking soda and some lemon juice. I rubbed it on, washed it off with a hot rag, and I used some black soap the next night, which is from Andy. And the bar is actually black when you take it out. It's a bar of soap that's black, and it's called black soap. You can get it, like, anywhere. Family Dollar. Like, three bucks, I think. So, I think I'll just stick to what I was doing before and use the glue on my nose, like I said, because that worked, like, better than anything I've used, and it was only, like, 50 cents for the whole bottle. So, hey, it's up to you. I wish you guys luck, and... I'll see you next time. Bye.